found traveling blues. Have you played the sax on this? You know, I, I want Zip Sims and Al Cohn and Jack Kerouac and I yeah. the blues, man. This is any, anyhow. This this is a piece that's going to be going in a a book I'm putting together. It's a collection of my writings from over the years. Um, it's going to be called the Seattle Tacoma Express. Um, selection, selected writings from 1989 to 2015. That there, there is no actual demand or request for a book of this sort. <laughs> um, but, but, but I'm, I'm putting it together because, you know, I'm thinking that many, 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 many years in the future, and my daughter might have kids, and one day, you know, these little you know, cherubs will come up to, uh, you know. Come up to her and say, you know, what was Grandpa like? Ooh. What kind of man was he? And, and, and why didn't he leave us any money? And, and instead of having to go through a long-winded explanation, you know, Hannah can just give them the book and they'll look at it and say, oh God. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. It'll save everyone a lot of work in the future. <laughs> but this this is a piece um, about my life 15 years past, actually, um, and it's just gotten worse over time. <laughs> but this is something I used to do every day. Um, so this is called the 590X Blues. The alarm goes off at 4.30. I crawl out of bed to the kitchen and swill down yesterday's dregs of cold coffee just to get the strength to grind the beans to make a fresh pot of brew, which I literally jam into every orifice. Mouth, nostril, earlobe, enema bag. In the hope that I can stagger three blocks to the number 25 to start me on my journey. Why are all the office jobs in Seattle? What's wrong with this town? My Tacoma jobs have consisted of peeling hot, burning plastic representing obscure auto parts off machines that could eat me for breakfast for 12-hour shifts, lifting bed frames from conveyor belts after they've been sprayed with quick-drying paint that is supposed to resemble fine wood grain, and digging sewage ditches for new construction sites. I'm not built for this kind of work. I'm an intellectual. I deserve to be hunched over a computer screen, working on an Excel spreadsheet, trying to reconcile the expenditure of a year's cost of paper clips into a $125 million tax write-off for the scumbag international cartel enterprise corporation. And as far as I'm concerned, Tacoma will never be a real city until they can supply me with a job like that. Because I'm sick of having to go to the bathroom on the bus. And when he drink as much coffee as I do, just to become ambulatory, the urge strikes me by the time I get to fight. <laughs> so there I sit, endlessly crossing and recrossing my legs while scrunched up next to my fellow passenger who starts to think I'm some sort of pervert. <laughs> Either that or he asks me for a date, which is even more awkward. <laughs> By the time we hit Spokane Street, my lawyer's screaming in uremic agony. And there, at last, my transfer point with its long for oasis, McDonald's on Third and Pine. Wait a minute, this is new. Restroom tokens? Given out by an off-duty SPD officer? What do these guys need to moonlight any for anyhow? Aren't our tax dollars enough to support them in a style of luxury that we'll never know? Being just poor idiots with a bursting bladder who are forced to buy an Egg McMuffin before we can enter a, a stall that serves as a wino shower and sauna? And I spent my last 250 cash on the bus. Backtracking wildly down 2nd Avenue, knocking receptionists off the curb as I searched blindly for relief. And what happened to Seattle's much publicized, quote, humanitarian, unquote, gesture, which was to provide porta potties around downtown for the use of the homeless. I can tell you where the potties are. They're all in Bellevue on construction sites for new upscale mega malls. Because I wasn't a goddamn one to be seen all the way to Pioneer Square. So I ran into the Skeppy restaurant bar in the Smith Tower, where I used to have a martini after my hard-fought day as a temp in a real estate development firm, only to be told by the scowling security guard that the place had been closed since June for renovation. Back on the sidewalk, tears in my eyes, I think with longing for the place from where I came. They have restrooms at the main bus stop, right there on 10th and Commerce. So I jump onto a double parked Lexus, whip it out, and spray right there into the rush hour traffic. The mist from my street making a rainbow in the early morning dawn. And I scream, 
the hell of the city of destiny. The white city, what were they thinking? No, let's hear it for the new city motto. Tacoma, at least you can take a leap there. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.